Ken Cobb. Wait, say that again. I can't say it, but twice. Okay. This is from Kim. I can't see. I can't say it. This is from Ken Cobb, former president of the AHS, and he has a gift for you. And he wrote you a letter that he wishes for you to read out loud. Okay. <laughs> and I haven't read it, but twice. And this is the gift for you. I also have a gift for you. Can I throw it in a ditch on the way home? <laughs> <laughs> Google photos. Read this first, and then you can read that. To Hans Little Tater Harrington from Mr. A.W. Shooks. Greetings from Cornotter, North Carolina. I'm sorry I cannot be with you to make this presentation in person. Unfortunately, I must stay in Cornotter to plow and see the corn maze. I lost the map to my corn maze last year, so <laughs> I'll have to play it by ear. I was also not be able to mail this to you since Cornotter Cornotzer has no post office. I will not say our mail is slow, but my last Sears catalog was dated 1902. <laughs> we don't even have a Pony Express. Our snail mail is called Mule Mail because it is delivered once a month by an old mule named Mayo. <laughs> we wish to, we know when you, we know when he has arrived because Mayo nays. I wish to present to you a scale model of my latest invention, the personal post, <laughs> postal potty. The what? Yeah, the postal potty. <laughs> yes, you read that correctly. It is an outhouse handmade by me with a mailbox attached to the door so that Mayo can deliver the Sears catalog to where it is most needed. On the outside is a corn crib. This is to hold cobs corn cobs in use for an emergency if the catalog is laid out. Plus, it is a place for Mayo to nibble on a kernel of corn. Mayo knows that one kernel is called a unicorn. At this point, if you do not fully understand the purpose of this invention, you may be hearing some giggles from your adult audience who will understand if they are still awake. <laughs> I'm sure they can explain it in my absence if they are not too poot. <laughs> At this time, please open the box and display your postal potty. You will see that it has a half moon over the door. That is so in the still of the night, moonshine can come in. Although the original in my cornfield does not support Wi-Fi or cell service, this model, if placed out of doors, will eventually support tweets. Open the door and look inside. Perhaps Mayo has left you mail. If you would like to have a life-size version, I can send the plans to your granddad. I'm sure he will build one for you. Just remember, dig a hole in the ground first. <laughs> if you, if, if this, this gift comes with a 30-day warranty, if you do not like it, return it to me and I'll send you something that I got as a gift that I do not like. <laughs> Enjoy your friend, A.W. Courtney Shucks. You want to? What was it? You're going to open it up? Yes. <laughs> this thing's still recording. Here's your keys. Yeah, I need to do it. David, I'd like you to open your gift. <laughs> well, thank you. Google Photos. How do you open? 
Is this sealed? Yes, it's is it right sealed there. sealed with a kiss? Do you have some gloves for me to wear? <laughs> <laughs> Can I use these for gloves? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Do I need to read any of that stuff? You can if you want to. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, you have made a book with pictures for the Piggly Wiggly bag. <laughs> There's a lot of orange in that. Yeah. You were thinking ahead. Well, thank you. I will cherish this and keep it close to my heart. That's how I'm going to salute you, okay? Thank, thank you very much. You're welcome.